Welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to look at marriage paper one for the year 2023, and this is just the completion of this paper. Since we have done question one up to 20, and we are beginning from 21 up to 40. So let's have the first question here. When the nervous system responds to a stimulus, uh, a stimulus is anything that can make an organism to respond to environment. There are several stages leading to the response. The following are the stages. So we have been given five stages here. Now these stages are not arranged in order. They are not arranged uh, according to the way uh, the, the whole thing is. That's until an organism responds to a particular stimulus. Now let's look at the question. What is the correct order of the stages? So the question is asking us to arrange what must be the first one so the first one has to do with the, the receiving of the information from the environment so the first one is two this is our first one here since we can see that the receptors detect the stimulus it detect now what are the receptors the receptors are sense organs organs like the skin so whenever you touch uh, something that is hot the skin will act as a receptor. It will detect the information from the stimulus. The heat will act as a stimulus. Then after the information is being detected, the information must be sent to the central nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord. So this is our second one here. A nerve impulse is sent to the central nervous system. Then what happens uh, whenever a nerve impulse is, is in the central nervous system? That information must be processed or interpreted. So the third one is this one. The central nervous system processes the information. Then after that, what happens? For a response to be produced, an impulse must be sent to the effectors. What are the effectors? Effectors are organs like muscles. So this is our fourth one here. Then from there, the fifth is this one. So a response is produced, which is, uh, we can see the arrangement of the numbers uh, are correlating with the A. So the answer is A here. We move on to question 22. The diagram shows a lens that is used to correct a defect in a human eye. Uh, for us to identify the type of defect which can be corrected by this lens, is it? first we need to identify the type of the lens that we have. So how do you identify the type of the lens? You need to look at the structure uh, of the particular lens. So in our case, we can see that the middle part of this lens is bigger than the tip here or the edges. Now, so, this lens is known as a convex. What happens when light passes through a convex? We know that it will converge. To converge means to bend and meet at one point. So, we are expecting this kind of uh, a response. Now, if a convex helps light to bend, then what type of defect? can it correct so it is long sight here why because long sight is a condition where the rays of light meet beyond retina so we want to it's like the lens that is found in uh, human eyes uh, if you look at the eyeball so the lens that is found in the eyeball is not has no strength <laughs> To make light to bend so we need a lens that will assist the lens in the eyeball to make it to bend more so that it is able to fall on the retina so that is what the thing is okay we move on to question 23 the diagram shows part of the mammalian skeleton so whenever we have a mammal please remember that we are dealing with endoskeleton or mammals consist of endoskeleton. Endoskeleton is just a type of skeleton that is found inside. Which of the following correctly identify the bone, the W, and the type of skeleton? 
we are saying it, the type of skeleton is endoskeleton. So between A and B, we are going to have the correct one. So the answer is A because W is tibia, I mean fibula. Then this one must be tibia. Patera, patera is found on the knee. Okay, we have question 24. The diagrams shows an experiment carried out in order to establish the process of tropism in plants. Tropism is just the response of plants toward certain stimuli. We have the setup before. So before the plant was laid horizontal. After one week, then we can see the response of plant was toward the uh, light. Now what we call this one? This one is a positive phototropism. Phototropism because it responded toward photo which is light. Now if this if we are not talking of positive phototropism, let's say we want to use uh, gravity. So if we want to use gravity, this response can be considered as a negative geotropism. So we can view this response in two ways, positive phototropism or negative geotropism. So we need to look at the multiple choices and see the one that will correspond to the given. So from the multiple choices, we can see we don't have positive phototropism. So we'll go with negative geotropism. We have question 25. The diagram shows the early growth of a green plant. Okay. So we can see here we have a small plant. Here at least it has grown. You can even see the roots here. Even the shoot system, the easy growth. What is occurring in the diagram from P to Q? Key, whenever there is a mark, it means whatever process they are looking for uh, occurs, then the X does not occur. Okay, so mitosis, mitosis is just the cell division. In which the cells multiply in number. Then in development, we can view it as the increase in size. Not only in size, but also in the specialization of cells. So for this one, we'll go with A. Mitosis is there for growth. We need mitosis, then development is also there. So we'll just go with A. 26. Some seeds were sown in 40 dishes under different conditions as shown in the table. Dish 1, temperature 1, dry. Dish 2, temperature 2. Okay, then uh, here <coughs> we need the which in which dish will the seeds germinate most rapidly. Number one, we need where we have at least the dish must wet. There need there should be at least moisture, or we can just say water because we know that uh, during the germination water is needed so we are between two or four we need to look at which one is it, the correct one then what of the temperature the temperature should be favorable the favorable temperature is 20 at least 20 we can't use one one is it's too low uh, it's too low so the best one is four so the answer is D we need the temperature about 20 degrees Celsius and the dish must also be wet. We have 27. The diagram shows a sexual reproduction in unicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms are organisms that consist of one cell. One name is given to this type of a sexual reproduction. So the best way to remember this kind of a sexual reproduction like this one uh, you can view it as mitosis because the reason why you are saying mitosis 
we have one cell we have one cell here but after the whole thing we have two cells so this is a binary binary fission binary fission you have one cell then divides to form two daughter cells uh, you can view it as mitosis we go to question 28 the diagram shows <coughs> excuse me one method of artificial vegetative propagation what type of artificial vegetative propagation is demonstrated in the diagram so from the diagram there was the, this bud which was cut from this plant then he inserted on another plant so this type of asexual artificial vegetative propagation is budding don't confuse budding with grafting grafting has to do with you cut you cut uh, two plant two different plants like a lemon and uh, an orange plant then uh, you connect them to make one that's grafting 29 the diagram shows some, some parts of a flower. Where are the male gametes produced? So the male gametes are pollen grains. So the question is asking us to determine the part where the pollen grains are produced. So the answer is C. Because C is the anthers. 30 which fruit will be dispersed by wind so number one it has to be light so that it is able to float in the air number two must have a wing like structure so we are going with b the diagram shows the female reproductive system where does fertilization takes place fertilization takes place in fallopian tube which is a 32 the diagram show four methods of birth control. Which one is hormonal method? Okay, we are looking for the one that uses hormones. So hormones has to do with pills. Okay, then the other one is just may involve surgical and we have the condoms there. 33. A study was made of children whose mother was blood group O and the father's blood group AB. Which statement about their children is correct? So the father is AB, the mother is O. Okay, so if you are to make genetic diagram, there is a chance of having heterozygous for blood group A, which is AO, BO. Okay, another B O. So now let's look at the multiple choice A. Oh, we have the same blood group. No, B fifty percent. We have the same blood group as their mother. No, we can see that we there was no chance of having the same blood group as their mother. C fifty percent. We have the same blood group as their father. No, then the answer is D. None will have the same blood group as either parent 34 which of the following is a beneficial use of mutation a creation of nuclear plants b formation of ultraviolet light c making of poly polyploidy plants in agriculture so the answer is c 35. Which of the following are characteristics of a fish? Number one, maintain body, maintain constant body temperature. So fish differs from the human beings. For us human beings, we, we have the system that is able to maintain the body temperature. Regardless, uh, if you look at, uh, if we are in colder seasons, the body must make some changes in order to maintain the body temperature, which is between 36 to 37 degrees Celsius. If it's hot, some changes must also be there. Now, what of the fish? Do fish maintain 
constant body temperature no the temperature of fish depends on the, the temperature of the surrounding which is the temperature of water if the temperature of water is hot then the temperature of fish will also respond to that so the fish do not maintain a body temperature do fish have external ears no so the answer is d uh, jelly covered eggs yes scales yes 36 which factor will cause a decrease in population size a decreased death rate this one will, will increase decreased disease no decreased food supply yes if there is no enough food we are expecting the population size to decrease then 37 the diagram shows part of the carbon cycle okay so what does rox represent rox represents the return of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere decay which is decomposition also can you if you just look at decay decay is where something de decompose so whenever a substance decompose carbon dioxide is retained in the the atmosphere then respiration also can also help. help so for this one i think we have a and b and a and d these are two answers because if you respire like if you look at the animals we know that during respiration carbon dioxide is given out which is the return of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere Then 38, which of the following is an effect of deforestation? A, decreased carbon dioxide content in the air, no? B, decreased flooding of low laying land, no? C, increased rainfall, increased rate of soil erosion, so the answer is D. Some examples of the waste products of human activities are which of these can cause increased growth of aquatic plants? So fertilizer can in increase aquatic plants and treated sewage. This one no? is like uh, this is also fatal. So it's two and four. Forty. Which of the following is as is a sustainable use of resource deforestation or game keeping, overfishing? Okay, so the answer is B. So this is our answer. So that that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.